Hey there guys and welcome back to your 7th video tutorial on SQL injection and now in this video we're going to be looking at the union statement once again and how union can be used to steal information from a database now you may be thinking, you know, what the hell, we already looked at union in episodes 3 and 4 I think it was uh, why are we going back over union once again? Uh, well, there are a couple of things that I want to address, because in the previous Union videos, we never actually really looked at how Union can be used to take information from the database tables. We just looked at how it could be used to find the version, uh, I believe we found the version, the current user, and the database name using Union, but we never actually took, uh, we never actually started taking a look at how you can take information from a table using Union. So that's what we're going to go over today. So back over here on our find a user page, uh, we're going to test out the SQL injection union statement that can be used to steal information from a table. Uh, I'm going to just show you guys by example first and then I'm going to explain what's going on. So uh, we're going to input our dummy data, which is going to be X, which uh, isn't actually a user in the table. So this X right here isn't doing anything right now. It's not returning any results. It's just kind of there because it has to be there to make this a valid uh, SQL statement. Uh, we're going to close our data encapsulation with a single quote and we're going to use a union statement. We're going to say union select and we're going to select something a little different this time from the previous videos. We're going to select one and then uh, in our second column, which we find out to be the username column, which is something that is output to the page, uh, we're going to replace the username with... Actually, no, we're going to keep username right in there, uh, just for the sake of uh, presentation for right now. Uh, we're going to put in a 3 right here, which again doesn't really matter because we're not seeing what's whatever's in this column anyway. The server-side script isn't outputting this 1 or this 3, it's only outputting whatever's in here in this case username and whatever follows the three in the fourth column which i'm actually going to set to password so right now what this query is doing is it's selecting x from the users table and of course the user x doesn't actually exist then it's uh, adding on a union statement to the end of that result and it's finding one then the username then three then the password of every user in the users table so now if we make sure to specify that we're selecting this from users so that we know that we're selecting this from the users table and then comment out the rest of the query I'm actually going to copy that just in case I've made an error and submit that uh, you can see for every user in the table we've actually gotten their username and md5 hashed password I put to the screen just like that so that's a good example of how the union statement can be pretty dangerous in SQL injection because we managed to dump the entire uh, users table with one simple line of SQL injection. And now if we go back into our form right here, I'm just going to give another example of using union to select from uh, the actual table itself instead of just using constants like the version of my or the version of this. Uh, database software we're using or the database name which is all we've looked at so far uh, I'm going to again select uh, one and then where the username is I'm going to replace that with I'm going to replace that with ID so we're actually getting the user's ID number output instead of their username uh, I'm going to put a three in here because I mean again that's just dummy data we're not going to see this three anyway and in the pa or in the email address field rather I'm going to, I don't know, I'm just going to put their username, I guess, because we've already tried, uh, we've already saw the output of email address, password, uh, username, and I guess we just haven't seen user ID yet, so let's output that. Uh, again, make sure to select this from the users table, and then comment out the rest of, uh, comment out the rest of the query, and submit this, and we've gotten username, but this isn't actually their username, remember, we chose to select the user ID instead. So you can see here, test 1 user ID is 1, test 2's user ID is 2, test 3's user ID is 3, and test 4's user ID is 4. So that's all we're going to look at today, guys. I hope you now have a good uh, grasp on how to use the union statement in SQL, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.